This is my new career, 100%. I have come here to fight. I'm starting from the ground up. This is WWE. He's going to learn this was a gigantic mistake on his behalf. I just don't enjoy seeing your face with bruises on it. I know he's dealt with some other injuries and things like that. We can. You good? I'm not prepared for this. I love you like that, man. See I welcome the challenge. I guess I'm kind of a, a lotto ticket, so to speak. But just like that Powerball, only one person can win it. And even then, you know, what are you winning? A chance to get beat up. It doesn't sound like much of a lotto ticket to me. You had a kid on your Looking for a Fight series name. It was Mickey Gall. He won his first fight and proceeded to call out CM Punk. Um, do you see that potentially as, as what might be CM Punk's matchup? I'm bringing Mickey Gall in, and he's going to fight a kid named Michael Jackson. If he wins that fight, Mickey Gall will fight CM Punk, and CM Punk will be there at the fight to watch. We are in Las Vegas. Welcome to the MGM Grand Garden Arena. It'll be Mickey Gall versus Mike Jackson. If Gall wins, he'll be charged with welcoming CM Punk to the Octagon for the first time. CM Punk will certainly be a most interested observer when Gall and Jackson collide here shortly in Las Vegas. Here we go. It's my destiny. It's what I've been working for for the past like seven, eight years. I want to send a message to everybody. Everybody. I'm a bad I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt people. Mickey Gall, UFC debut. You ready, sir? One of the bigger favorites on this fight card, top to bottom. It's an event challenge that Mickey Gall is gonna shoot for a takedown. The big question is, how does Mickey Gall oh, yeah. Right on the button, and this is where Mickey Gall thrives. Check your neck. He loves to take the back. He got the arm trapped with his right leg, and this could be it right here. Not That's quite under the chin, right, right, he is right, right, right. there. Mickey Gall makes good on the UFC debut, submits Mike Jackson inside of a minute. It didn't take long. No, that was quick. <laughs> That's how you want to do it. That's how you want to do it. CM Punk looking on, he now has his next opponent. Last time I was on the mic, talking about one guy, and I'm still thinking about one guy. I want to be fed, I'm hungry. Feed me CM Punk, please. CM Punk has now entered the octagon. That is the next matchup. Good fight. That's how you want to do it. Nice and, nice and quick. Yes. Good for you. Yeah, I'm going to keep it that way. And we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I appreciate it, my man. No? Train with a great camp. Yep, you do too, are you? Yeah, thank right you. On. I appreciate it, man. Right we're supposed to talk at some point, right? You having fun? <laughs> I'm having a you having fun? I feel so good. That's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, have thank fun. You. Thank you. It's an honor. Pleasure's all mine. Pleasure's all mine, man. Got a fight, Matt, Sarah. <laughs> you got a fight. <laughs> Dude, it changes everything. Yeah. I feel like me and him almost have the same game plan. We're both a mystery. Uh, you've seen him have two pro fights. They didn't go very long. You've seen me do nothing. Uh, I could have had a baby in the amount of time I said, uh, you know, I announced I was going to be fighting. Exactly. But the photo bomb. I figured that's what you're trying to do. Hey. Crazy, huh? So what's the impulse say? This is soccer mom small talk. There's nothing. Let me he was nice. He was cool. He, he seems was, like a decent guy. Yeah. 
I was saying though before though, I, like now I see that beer on Chin, I'm gonna find that Chin. I got, I'm not sure exactly where it is, but I'll find it. I don't feel pressure at all. I need to prepare as much as I possibly can, and if I don't prepare enough, I'm, I know an ass kick is waiting for me. How's the recovery from injury? Are you able to go full 100% now? Oh yeah, and I have, I have been for quite some time. You know, uh, shoulders great, everything's great. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm at it, I'm working my ass off. I have a fight now. I have a face, I have a name. We don't got a date yet, we're working on that. I'm just excited and I'm happy. And I'm in Vegas and I should be in Milwaukee training. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Let me look at your back here for a second. Okay, let's heal nicely. Can you just arch your back for me? Like, like so? Yeah. No trouble there? No. Have a seat. Let me just check a few things here. Go. Any numbness or tingling in your foot, or that's all gone? No. All gone, okay. Yeah. All right. So here are about six weeks, okay? And, um, you know, like we talked the other day, um, we talked about the ring around the disc. You know, it should be pretty much healed up. Um, so what we still want to do is want to be conservative as far as the stresses directly on your spine. So our loading of your spine with heavy weight. I think as far as, you know, striking, working on the, on the heavy bag, you know, controlling your rotation a little bit. I haven't done anything, um, like, back-oriented overhead where I'm pulling down. Okay, perfect. But I just want to be conservative. It really depressed me to have to have surgery, obviously, and, and another delay, another roadblock, you know, when all I really want to do, I just want to fight. And I feel now that I, f I don't have this pain, I don't have this weakness think that really kind of held me back in a way that I didn't even realize and it's gone now so you know in another six weeks hopefully I'll be wrestling doing jiu-jitsu and I'll be back at it the UFC announced Thursday that former WWE superstar CM Punk will fight against Mickey Gall in UFC 203 CM Punk has finally got a fight date. To, uh, said he's going to fight Mickey Gall at UFC 203. I hope he shocks you, and I hope he puts on a great performance. So do I. Good luck. If they brought me in to get beat by CM Punk, if they thought they were going to bring in a pushover, they really f***ed up. There's no way he can hang with me. I drive to Miller Bros MMA, which is out in Sparta, New Jersey, which is like an hour, a little over an hour from me. Then we go to AMA Fight Club in Grayson, New Jersey. We'll do like some ground stuff, and then I teach an MMA class, and then we got sparring. I don't get outworked. I don't think anybody outworks me. Okay. Yeah. I gotta cross it first. Right? Yeah, you would cross, and then you use your on the bottom or top. They say like after seven years, all your cells change. And that past seven years, all I've been doing is MMA. So all my cells and muscle memory and everything, I've just adjusted to, to MMA. It's completely in me now. CM Punk, he hasn't developed that. He hasn't, he hasn't put in the time. He has to probably think before he does it. I don't have to think before he does it. I just do stuff. I have a big opportunity to score off. When this fight happens, I'm going to completely dominate him. <laughs> First, we got the CM Punk defense. Brett, Brett helped come up with, with, uh, with Jamie. She's going to come at me with a wild haymaker, right? Simple thing. Duck, grab the neck, tap the back, lift, oh. drop. <laughs> That's game. That's it. <laughs> all right. That's all you got to no. do? We got one more. We got one more. All right, now, one if they throw a teep, you're going to catch. Push to the side, trip, step, uh -oh. sharpshooter. All right, now the trick to this one, look angry and bob your head over okay. and over. Got it. Good, good, good. Now that's All right. Game. Clap it up. Good job. Good job. Thanks. I think he's a kid, and uh, he says and he does things that kids do. Whether he's going to be proud of the things he says, you know, in 10 years or whatever, it, it, it's not for me to judge. I just, uh, I just try to be myself. I try to be the best me I can be. And if he wants to talk to stuff like that, that's cool. Hey, 
okay, there's a line. All right. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Hey, good luck on the fight. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to support you at your fight. Good luck. I, I need the help. Thank you. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you fight. Oh, man. Nobody's more excited than I am. I can't wait. I hate to sound cliche, but your positive influence has been uh, very helpful in my life. So Not cliche it. at all. That's actually good news. Thank you. Yeah, your straight edge has changed my life forever, so I appreciate it. Great. You all have no idea how many people come up to me and go, you know he's never going to fight you, right? Did they give you someone else yet? You know he's never going to fight you, right? That's what everybody tells me. He's probably feeling like he's in over his head a little bit if he sees, you know, things correctly. He should be scared. See you, buddy. Awesome. Yeah. There's no pressure on me. I just got to go out there and perform. And it, it makes me happy knowing that nobody knows a damn thing about me. For his sake, I hope he's just training half as hard as I am. Just getting me more ready and ready to smash CM Punk. I just look at the guys that he's fought. He's fought nobody. So me and him, we're on the same exact level. It's my job is to believe in myself. His job is to believe in his self, and that's why we fight. Thank you. How many days away are you now? I don't know. I feel like you should be keeping count. I want to keep count. I'm going to make those little Christmas rings. An advent calendar? <laughs> no. Like an advent calendar? That's not an advent calendar. I'm talking about the rings that you hang and then you rip the ring off. You won't. You won't like sit in the crowd and watch, will you? I think I have to. Why? Because I want to be there. I figured you wouldn't. I would like to sit in the crowd in like some sort of protective shield <laughs> so no one can see me, but I can see you. I don't want anyone looking at me. It's okay if like, I have like an umbrella and doors there, right? That'd be cool. I don't see any problem with it. But you're trying to not draw attention to yourself. <laughs> but I think I have to be out there. I don't know. I feel weirdly separated if I was backstage. Whatever you're comfortable with. I'm not worried about everybody else, I'm worried about you. It'll be fine. It's not about me. How about you, Larry? What do you know about Mickey? Nothing? All right. Larry doesn't know anything about him either. <laughs> I feel great. I feel amazing. I take him very seriously. If I lose to him, I'm going to look like quite an I'm going to look like a joke. I'm more than prepared to smash CM Punk. I'm a man coach. Man, CM Punk, you ready to scrap it out a little bit? Get the crap out of the tub. Last week, I, I, I just felt better. My back, my weight, my, my striking, my wrestling. When you're being aggressive in my grill, you don't give me time to. Yeah, just that. It's because you're a coach. Well, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> good today. Yep, there we go. Nice. Good. That's it. Pass or fail, it's on me. Is Cleveland a big wrestling town? Yeah. Uh, that's what I figured. You know, the, one of the reasons I like that it's in Cleveland is uh, I'm cursed in that building. So, I'll break the curse. Really? Yeah, yeah. And that was the building I walked into Vince's office and I went, you know what? This isn't for me anymore. I'm, I don't Get know. Get that F like, I don't know. No what, way. That's the same building. It's the same building. And I took the same drive home. Welcome wow. to Chicago. Just drove straight home. The uh, irony. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? That's yeah. poetic. That's why, like, you know, like I was trying to get on 200 or 202 and, like, you know, you think of pros and cons for all of them. And then when they were like, Cleveland, I was like, ah, I'm cursed. And nah, now, you know what? I don't believe nah, it. You're, you're only if you think you are. Yeah, nah, exactly. doing really good at getting in good positions. Be physical there. Just, just yeah, be, be strong there. Feel that they move. If you feel like 
you could lose in a position, give up on submission to give, you know, to save the position. Alright. The strikes and then Yeah, just keep moving. Then that helps you be able to go back. If you yeah. see somebody throw some afterwards. No elbows or knees to the head. Alright, obviously it's scrimmage, practice, so we'll, we'll just be cognizant of each other, okay? Alright, touch them up. Alright, good. Fight. Hook his leg. Stay in that half guard. Go. Breathing. There you go. Good. Drop, drop, drop. Good. Ah. Right, round two, gentlemen. And fight. Draw. Leg back, leg back. Draw. Leg back. Up, up, seat belt. Good, nice. Hooks, hooks. Push him into the fence. Put him. Pops her up. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Good job, guys. Don't get excited about swinging so hard. It's like when you're, you're almost you're getting off balance there. Keep your feet on it. Keep your feet a little bit more active. You're doing really good, huh? you know, with your hands. Throw it, then go for the takedown. One thing I saw today was a, we've been looking for some killer instinct today. You were hitting, and when you saw that joke, yes, I started seeing things. We're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, yeah, yeah. you know. No? Yeah. I mean, here's the thing: this kid's talking a lot of mess. Oh, I'm not finishing in 45 seconds. Guess what? We, yeah, one, he ain't, and then two, what's he gonna do after 45? In the second round. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like the I mean, one thing that you have going, you've been coming in here day in, day out, going with Cole, Pattis, Woodley, you know, Big, you know, Gerald. All these guys are, are, you know, proverbially smashing you daily, but you're not quitting. One percent every day. I don't know. You did good, brother. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, you did real good. I, I don't know. If people think I'm not training or not taking it seriously, but I don't focus on the negative things from people that don't matter to me. If anybody out there, race, creed, religion, do whatever you want, do whatever makes you happy. That's what this is about for me. This makes me happy. This is WWE, you're an idiot, you're gonna get hurt. 
You've never had an MMA fight, period. There's a lot of questions in terms of CM Punk. Look in my eyes, what do you see? The cult of personality. I know your anger, I know your dream. I'm coming into the biggest fighting organization in the world with an O&O record. I embrace that reality. Why are you crying? <laughs> Too much good. I hope to inspire somebody. That's the whole purpose of doing it. <laughs> Boom! This is the biggest challenge I've ever put in front of me. Absolutely. The only thing we have to fear.